episode 464 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Tonight I'll be talking about tonight's episodes of WWE Friday Night Smackdown. The Go Home episode before tomorrow's tomorrow night's WWE SummerSlam and AEW Rampage featuring the parking lot fight at Daly's Place. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Welcome, wrestling fanatics. I am Lance Brock. This is 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hope everyone had a great Friday today. And like I said in that little preview at the top of the podcast, we'll be talking about the go home before. Tomorrow night, SummerSlam episode of WWE Friday Night SmackDown, and then right after that, AEW Rampage featuring the parking lot fight at Daly's Place. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it here tonight. On 360 Wrestling Fanatic, episode 464. Let's start off with WWE Friday Night Smackdown. As I have already said probably a hundred times on this episode already. The go-home episode before tomorrow night's SummerSlam Premium Live event. SmackDown was live from Dayton, Ohio at the Nutter Center. Our commentators, Michael Cole and Wade Barrett. And we start things off on SmackDown tonight. LA Knight versus Sheamus. Both of these superstars are going to be participating in the SummerSlam Battle Royal presented by Slim Jim tomorrow night. And as this match continues, eventually some of the other superstars who will be in the Battle Royal are at ringside, almost kind of making it look like a lumberjack match. And No real surprise here. All the other superstars at ringside get into a big brawl. And Austin Theory comes down to ringside, gets involved as well. Which, this was expected. They usually do this on the go-home when they're going to have like a big battle royal or something like this. They usually have... Most of the guys that are going to be in it come down and get into some kind of big brawl. And that is what happened here. And then this leads to a confrontation in the back. The brawling bra- the, sorry, the brawling brutes get into it with the good brothers Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. And then Adam Pierce books these two teams in a tag match tonight on SmackDown. And then 
we have that match for first uh, LA Knight and Sheamus I'd say two and a half out of five ring bells sorry Al the ratings thing is still a little new I forget a little bit and then the Brawling Brutes and the Good Brothers I'd only have to say two out of five ring bells not very much here it is interrupted by the Street Profits, who kind of have a new look, I guess you can say, wearing suits. And they attack both teams. And then as they are going back to the entrance, they are joined by Bobby Lashley. We've seen a couple weeks ago, Bobby Lashley has been talking to them. So as of right now, it looks like this is going to be a heel faction with Lashley and the Street Profits. I don't mind this at all. I think the Street Profits definitely need a boost in their career. And so does Bobby Lashley. Not too long ago, back when he was still over on Raw, it kind of looked like... They were going to reform the Hurt Business, but nothing really came from that, though. And we have the WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory, taking on Cameron Grimes. Good match here. I thought, actually, this one, to me anyway, was actually quite surprising of how good it was. Better than I expected. I'd have to say three out of five ring bells. Austin Theory getting the win. And then we also have the Grayson Waller effect with his guests Bailey and Miss Money in the Bank, EO Sky. And we hear Shotzi's voice. And that was set up by Grayson Waller. And then we hear Shotzi Blackheart's music. And then we see a tank come down the entrance. But it is not... Shotzi Blackheart. It was Zelina Vega actually driving the tank while Shotzi Blackheart was able to come in from behind and get her hands on Bailey and Eo Sky with the new look, the shaved head. And we get a video package showing in two weeks we will have the celebration for Edge's 25th anniversary, which will be in Toronto on Friday Night Smackdown. That was even mentioned earlier this year. Edge said he would be there. And now it is time for our main event of this week's Friday Night Smackdown. It is the enforcer of the bloodline, if you can still call him the bloodline. Solo Stokoa taking on his older brother, the number one contender for the Undisputed Universal Championship. Main event, Jay Uso. I thought this was a pretty good match here. And good main event. Jay Uso getting a win. I'd say three out of five ring bells. So tonight was, a, I thought, a pretty good episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Which did have some okay wrestling on it. 
and which was expected a lot of video packages which of course no surprise being the go home show before SummerSlam tomorrow night And now let's go over to TNT for AEW Rampage. Our, this was in Tampa, Florida, Wednesday night. And our commentators that are in the arena in Tampa are Excalibur. Chris Jericho and Taz and the reason I say they're in Tampa because for the main event of Rampage tonight the parking lot fight was actually filmed at Daly's Place in Jacksonville and that match was called by Tony Schiavone and Paul White but that is later on Let's start things off with AEW Rampage. And we have a trios matchup. First, the Hardys and Keith Lee joining forces to take on the Butcher, the Blade, and Kip Sabian. Not a bad match here. I'd say two and a half out of five ring bells for this one. And next up representing the Jericho Appreciation Society and a JAS taking on Sky Blue. Pretty good match. I'd say two out of five ring bells. And looks like Sky Blue things are going her way. But then Cole Hand and Angelo Parker gets on the apron distracting Sky Blue. And then Anna J gets her in a choke, and gets the submission win here. And during this match, Chris Jericho does mention on commentary the mandatory Jericho Appreciation Society meeting this Wednesday night on Dynamite. Definitely interested to see where they are going to go with this. What is next for the JAS? Could it be the end and Chris Jericho join the Don Callis family? We will just have to wait and see this Wednesday night, AEW Dynamite. And Swerve Strickland and AR Fox are in tag team action, defeating the team of Logan Cruz and Tyshawn Perez. I not... Nothing real special here. Kind of a squash match. I'd say one and a half out of five ring bells. But not bad for... It did what it was supposed to do. And the main event of Rampage this week. As we see Mark Henry. It's time for the main event it is the parking lot fight at Daly's Place in Jacksonville, Florida. Like I said earlier, this one, the commentators are Tony Schiavone and Paul White. We, of course, this one was what you would expect, just like the last one was. A lot of brawling all over the cards and everything. This one was bloody car windows getting broken, car doors getting broken off. And Wheeler Yuda ends up coming out of one of the cars. And then a little bit after that, we see the minivan pull up being driven by Trent Beretta's mother, Sue, with Orange Cassidy on top of it. And BCC ends up getting the advantage once again. Wheeler Yuta using the screwdriver 
on his trainer, Trent Barretta, which first Trent Barretta actually had, but he couldn't do it to his student and one-time friend, Wheeler Yuta. But then Wheeler Yuta was able to do it to him, stabbing him right in the forehead with it. And then at one point, Claudio, John Moxley, and Yuta went to the minivan and bullied Sue, chased her off. And then they put Trent in the minivan and John Moxley stomped him through the windshield of the minivan. And then this gets the pin and the win for the Blackpool Combat Club in the parking lot fight. So over, oh, I'd say this one was definitely brutal and violent. I thought it was good, though. I would say, in my opinion anyway, this one was probably better than the first one they had. And I'd say four out of five ring bells. Really good one. I thought I enjoyed this main event on Rampage this week. So let's now do the overall ratings. First SmackDown tonight. I thought it was a good go-home show for the SummerSlam tomorrow night. And we had some pretty kind of good wrestling on the show. I wouldn't say anything really that great, but I thought it was all right. And... Rampage, I would say probably seven and a half out of ten ring bells overall. So tonight we had some good wrestling on this Friday night. And before I wrap up this podcast... Just a reminder, we'll be back tomorrow for a live episode of Through Sissy Wrestling Fanatic, or at least someone did try to anyway. And like I said, I don't know what time if that's going to be though. By the time whenever I finish SummerSlam and AEW Saturday Collision, but we'll be here tomorrow morning for the Saturday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans, so hope everyone will join me for that. That's all for tonight. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, or you can leave your feedback for SmackDown tonight and Rampage. Or you could even leave your last minute predictions for SummerSlam tomorrow night. Hope everyone enjoyed SmackDown and Rampage. We'll be back tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night after SummerSlam and Collision, going to try to have the special premium live event episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. So stay tuned for that just in case. Probably will be sometime late, late on Saturday. Going into Sunday morning. Hopefully I won't be too tired though to do the podcast. But we will just have to wait and see whatever time I'm able to start. And I'll talk to everyone tomorrow morning, but until then, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.